Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to tell you something surprising that happened after I upgraded to the Sony FX30. I've been shooting with the Canon T7i for the past four years, and despite its limitations, it still holds a special place in my heart. While the T7i had its flaws, such as frustrating autofocus and its APS-C sensor, Working around these limitations actually helped me develop my skills as a videographer and filmmaker. I learned how to manually expose and light my scenes, which allowed me to have more control over my footage. I even invested in a monitor to ensure accurate focus and started using false color to perfect my exposure. But after maxing the potential of the T7i, I decided it was time to level up my video production. And so, I upgraded to the Sony FX30. I discussed the reasons behind this upgrade in a previous video, which you can check here or by clicking the link in the description, if you're interested. So, I didn't immediately sell off my T7i because I thought it could still serve a purpose in my setup. Initially, I considered using it as a B-cam, but unfortunately, it didn't shoot in a log profile like the FX30, and its neutral profile couldn't match the S-Log3 from the new camera. Then I thought maybe I could repurpose it as a streaming camera, but the T7i's poor autofocus, limited 30-minute record time, and its inability to send a clean HDMI signal to my computer made it an impractical option. Next, I thought about giving it to my wife, who is interested in photography, but she prefers a mirrorless camera with a live preview of her shots based on the settings, which the T7i doesn't offer. At this point, things weren't looking good for the T7i until something unexpected happened. I decided to pick it up and switch to photography mode. To my surprise, the results with this camera brought back a wave of nostalgia. It reminded me of the excitement I had when I first bought the T7i and ditched the kit lens for the Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter f2.8. Playing around with the manual settings, I was able to capture some interesting shots. While the T7i's video specs are lacking by today's standards, its photography capabilities have truly withstood the test of time. You see, the Sony FX30 boasts a 26 megapixel sensor, but it lacks a mechanical shutter. And with the T7i, despite having two fewer pixels, I found myself genuinely enjoying shooting photos with that camera. There's something about its image quality and the tactile experience of using a camera with a mechanical shutter that adds a certain charm to the process. So instead of retiring the T7i completely, I've decided to hold on to it for sentimental reasons, as well as serving as my dedicated photography camera for now. It's a reminder of my journey as a filmmaker and allows me to continue exploring the world of photography with a camera that might still have more to offer. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments if you've had a similar situation with a camera that surprised you in unexpected ways. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.